Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Nor14 and today I want to talk about Wi-Fi 6. Now as you can see a whole bunch of routers are coming out this year and at the end of the year as well as early next year. Now why I'm doing this is to inform everyone don't buy any electronics until the end of the year early next year that means don't buy any TVs don't buy any sound bars don't buy any phones tablets anything that's electronic that will use Wi-Fi 6 don't buy right now now you're saying Mr. North Wi-Fi 6 products are already out uh, Samsung has a Wi-Fi 6 product iPhone has a Wi-Fi 6 product why can't I get it now well, the reason why you can't get it now is a little thing called Wi-Fi 6E. And the E stands for expanded. Okay, that's going to do a lot more than just Wi-Fi 6 can do right now. Okay, so what generation are we in now? Just to give you some heads up. We are in Wi-Fi 5. Okay, that's basically 802.11 AC. And we have the 2.4 gigahertz range and the 5 gigahertz range. So what is Wi-Fi 6? Well, basically, Wi-Fi 6, the FCC went out and opened a new spectrum. Okay, and they said this is a 6 gigahertz spectrum. So now you not only have 2.4, not only have 5, but now you have the 6 gigahertz spectrum that you can get Wi-Fi from. Now, as you can see, the 2.4 data speeds are good. And then you got 5 gigahertz, the data speeds are better, and now you got 6 gigahertz. You're going to get even faster speeds. Okay, now why you need to wait until the end of the year before you purchase any electronics, like I said, is because of Wi Fi 6E. Wi Fi 6E stands for expanded. Okay, so it's 802.11 AX, but it's expanded. So what does that mean by it being expanded? It's going to be able to do a lot more than Wi-Fi 6. So let's give a little thing about, let's think about how fast is Wi-Fi 6 from Wi-Fi 5. Okay, they say it's about a 30% increase in speed. And to some of you, you might, hmm, 30% speed increase? Is that something I really care about? Is that something I really want to wait for? Yes, it's something you really, really want to wait for because this speed increase also comes with an increase in the way that your devices that are Wi-Fi 6 talk to each other. Now remember, in order to get that 30% speed increase, you're going to have to have a Wi-Fi 6 product. Okay? Yes, there's few products out now, but at the end of the year, not only are there going to be more, but they're going to take advantage of the 6E. Okay, so let's start there. You got that 30% increase from the 6. Not only that, your devices that are 6E are going to talk better together. Remember that feature called Nemo Mimo, where they said the old way that a router used to talk to your devices was one at a time. But then when Nemo Mimo came in and said, okay, we're going to talk to your devices, but we're going to talk to them all together. And we're going to manage that. So we don't have to talk to one device at a time, wait for it to finish, then talk to the other. We're going to be talking to them simultaneously, and they're all going to work quicker, faster, and we'll be able to control them better. That's what Wi-Fi 6 does. Wow. Now we're into Wi-Fi 6E. What's important about Wi-Fi 6E? Well, you remember that little bottleneck that you used to have with Wi-Fi 5 where whatever your device was the slowest on the, the, the internet, that's pretty much what your speeds were. Well, that's where Wi-Fi 6E comes in and say, hey, that's not anymore. It doesn't matter that you have a slow 6E device on our settings. We're going, every device is going to get the speed that they, you know, somewhat promised they would get because you know all this is theoretical, but you're not going to be slowed down by the slowest speed. So that's why 6E, is definitely important. Another reason why 6E is important for the simple fact is let's use VR. Now you know when you use VR you got to be wired up to the PC or wired up to something in order to transfer that huge amount of data. Well 6E has a thing that it says okay 
it's the closer we are together, the more data you can use. You see that? That's what's important. So if you had a VR headset, you wouldn't need it to be tethered anymore because you'd be because of the proximity of the two devices, you'd be able to get more data. So you wouldn't need to have that device wired anymore. So that's the cool thing about Wi-Fi 6E. The closer things are, the more speed it gets. Okay, so you can break that connection you know between having a wired VR headset so this is why I'm telling everybody wait till Wi-Fi 6E because you will totally enjoy it get faster speeds your devices will talk to each other way better and the features like Nemo Mimo will even work even better so this is Mr. North 14 I hope you enjoy what we talked about today peace out